you know, the World Championship is obviously a, you know, uh, significant achievement. And um, um, I've done it nine times myself. And so, um, you know, I certainly wouldn't diminish the, the, the accomplishment at all. But the Olympic uh, gold medal, the Olympics is just um, a whole nother level. It is the pinnacle. It is what every athlete in any sport that's included in the Olympics um, it is the pinnacle and it's what you strive for, it's what you dream about. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It has the history behind it and what the Olympics stands for. I don't think anybody really could have set me down or put me in a classroom to learn about the Olympics and how, how to cope because it's kind of a, a case for me is you have to experience it and learn out in the field, so to speak, or learn on your feet as you go. You have to learn in your own way and in your own style, because certainly you can teach theory, but when it comes to, you know, an Olympics and the whole environment, it's, it's hard to match it, the theory to the actual feeling. <laughs> Winning an Olympic is, uh, is a great achievement for any athlete's uh, dream. When I was going to London, that was my first time ever uh, in an Olympic Games. I wasn't always the best. There were those who were better than me. Not only when I started now specializing and putting more effort, focus and training, and even right now, normally when I go back there at home, uh, some of my friends keep on teasing me that we used to beat you, we used to be better than you. And, uh, you know, I usually also tell them that, but you did not focus, you did not uh, really work on it and uh, train, otherwise you could be even better than me now. And uh, that tells you, you know, uh, sports is all about passion and uh, dedication and focus. I think the, the advice is, is enjoy the moment is that uh, the Olympics is special because you have 28 different sports coming together and all competing within a 17-day uh, a period. That's the, the, the highlights of it. But you're there, you've got selected because you're good at a sport and you want to do the best you possibly can. And uh, the, the better you do, the more you'll enjoy the Games experience. So be aware and enjoy the other elements of what the Games is, is about, because if you lose that, that's pretty sad. But don't lose from the focus of what you're there in the first place. As I say before, the better result you get, the more you'll enjoy the Games. They would be in the same boat as every other Olympic athlete who's participating at that Olympics and every other Olympic athlete who's ever participated at an Olympics, that, you know, there are all sorts of potential distractions. Now, how you deal with those um, is what determines whether or not it becomes a real distraction and creates a problem from a performance standpoint for you as an athlete or as a team. I think the wider athletic community are going to love them because uh, they, they've got a lot of the traditional older values of, of the amateurs who put it all in and, and all that kind of stuff because not many of them are, are hugely paid superstars and all that kind of stuff. And, and I think that the Olympic family, they, they like that. They have nothing against professionals or anything, but they like, you know, the good, honest, sort of common man. And uh, that's what you rugby playing boys are.